Good afternoon, Lace Jump, and I'm John Sisbidia Truder. Welcome back to Fallout 4, you only live once. Well, last time, uh, I kind of got myself shot, repeatedly. Now, mostly, it was with shotguns at very long range. So they did, like, you know, 0.04 damage a hit. Now, that was fine, but then someone kind of nailed me with a proper bullet. Still, it wasn't so bad. 10 damage on total, still plenty of flipping health to go. And today, uh, well... I have got a brand new adventure to begin, and in particular, yeah, I'm floating a couple of level ups and uh, I know precisely uh, what we need them for. But before we do any of that, I need to make it back to base, because seriously, I'm, uh, I'm pretty full up on junk right now. And also desperately low on, you know, ammunition that I need to keep my guns running. So, uh, okay, that's probably a good place to start today. Okay, step one in that, yeah, may as well nip round to Bunker Hill. This area seems to be still pretty bloody clear. So, okay, let's go to Bunker Hill, uh, clear out the shops right there in case anyone's got any throwaways. Now, some people were saying in the comments, John, why don't you just... What the flip was that? I don't know, something Bethesda physics, but it wasn't me, so it's fine. Someone said in the comments, John, why don't you just make your own ammo? Because, yeah, thanks to the DLC, you can do that. No, no, I can't. For the simple reason that, um, though you have the materials, and I have plenty of materials, uh, to make my own 308 ammo, uh, you need Science 1 to build the machine. So I can't access that just yet, though, uh, yeah, having access to that uh, sooner or later would potentially be a good call. Yes. Here we go. Trash can Carl is right here. And once again, this is why you want to flirt with her the first time you see her. Because uh, she's just floating around the major settlements like constantly. So uh, a permanent discount with her, not a bad call. And uh, you know what? I'll flip and take it. Also, I can't help but notice that, uh, yeah, right now I wear a, um, a militia hat to get my charisma up by Warner. That weighs 0 0.5. She's selling a wig that does the same thing for 0 0.2. To be honest, I can't afford to be fussy. 0 0.3, that makes a big-ass difference. Oh, yeah. That's the flipping stuff right there. Oh, and now I'm level 20. Yeah, all sorts of things done show up. So, uh, we've got over here, tactical calibrator. That's actually, yeah, calibrator powerful receiver. So, that's a level 3 right there. Way before I can actually physically build the damn thing. So... Even if you're crafting your own parts, keep an eye on the shops. You can very often get everything you need uh, nice and early. And uh, a plasma pistol. So, uh, there's no point me taking this yet. Because, well, is there? I don't have the ammo for it. I don't have signs. No. Leave it for now. But keep in mind, uh, it's starting to appear. Okay, ammo restored. Go back over to my main weapon. Flipping love it. And yeah, now at this point we should be pretty safe having cleared out the riverfront to just head straight back home where I need to do um, a little bit of, uh, yes, remanaging of my infantry. Because today I've got a very particular objective in mind. Oh, but then again, hang on. Okay. Uh, this I wasn't expecting. We've got a handful of, of raiders over in... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Everything's under control. It's all fine. Just hop down over here. Right, it is rather bright daylight, so just keep on backing off for a second, actually. Okay, got a handful of uh, raiders I wasn't really expecting to see in this part of the world, actually. I mean, part of what I actually did the other week was specifically to... Oh, they're coming this way. Okay, this is, this is absolutely fine. We're just going to uh, loop around them. There just seem to be two raiders uh, here for some reason. Okay, this is this is fine. And John, put your bloody gear back on. Doesn't make a huge amount of difference. But, you know, a bit of perception and a bit less in the way of charisma. That's going to help out potentially. All right, hang on. There they are. Okay, they're passing in that direction. I might just be able to get both of them in the back right now. Probably not a terrible idea. Just get round over here. Hop over. And be ready to nail both of them. Go! Right. We're just going to nail you. And that's going to be you done. And then that's going to be... You're kind of obscured by your own friend there. Which is a bit of a problem. Actually, you know what? 
go for the leg and then go for the the torso, then the arm. Your own friend is obscuring you. Still. Okay, that was not what I was expecting, actually. That was that was a bit of a stressful pick. Okay. I don't know where the bloody hell you two came from, but we were kind of supposed to have, like, you know, cleared you bastards out already. Like, I literally came this way just the other day. And there's still... There's still something around here. Okay. Did I maybe miss a whole bunch of raiders who are, like, asleep? Because I came in at night, but now it's day. They're patrolling. That seems like the most likely candidate right there. So, okay, just... I know somebody is going to be up top. So just be ready for any of, uh, any of that. I mean... It looks pretty peaceful right now. Okay, I think it was just a random two that just happened to be, you know, maybe asleep when I passed by. This is good, because this means now I'm verified it's going to be safe during the day and at night. So that's... Oh, hang on. That's... That's the raid camp I was thinking they were attached to. So, okay, who the bloody hell are those two guys? That I do not know anymore. There were just two guys here and uh, don't really know uh, who they are. And yeah, I know this is going to happen. Because I know there's somebody up top. But I doubt they're going to be able to detect me. We good? I think we're good. Oh. I see you up there. You know what? I'm going to take you out and... Oh. Kind of surprised that wasn't... Are we good now? Were you maybe the last one? Oh, good dramatic dive, by the way. Excellent. And no, there's still somebody around here. But whoever they are... Oh, irritatingly, yeah, the civilians over there. It could be civilians that are almost attacking me. Alright, just maybe... I thought that was the only person. Okay, I think we're fine. Okay, I think we're good at this point. We should be A-OK. -okay. It's going to be that person over there that's going to detect me. Yes, we're golden. Right, from now on, it's a straight run. Ah, but Operation pick off these bastards one by one. That might be able to continue. Just, you know, basically take out one... Every time I just pass by uh, this boat. Two, if I get lucky, you're the waster. Yeah. The thing is, uh, a crit on him would be bypassing all armor. That's the key thing about crits. They don't just do bonus damage, uh, they bypass all armor, which makes them very useful. And we do have uh, fog coming in. No, I don't want to waste a crit, because uh, today's going to be a bit of um, an action-y episode, shall we say. There's a lot of stuff that's about to be uh, happening where I might be needing some emergency crits. Still, back to base, everything looks just fine here. I haven't really done this place up uh, yet, to be honest, which is, you know, always a bit on the sad side, but what can you do? Right, bit on the thirsty side. Grab myself a little bit of water. Absolutely spectacular. And then dump a giant pile of junk, please. But yeah, that only gets me down to uh, 209, because right now, uh, most of my weight isn't junk. Most of my weight is uh, weapons, including, uh, here we go, the Fat Man. Now, uh, I'm going to be keeping that with me today, though what I do also want to do on top of that is, uh, I'm going to drop off one of the mini nukes, alright? I'm taking the Fat Man and one mini nuke with me today. Alright, as an emergency get out of jail free card. I'm also going to take one fusion core, but I'm going to drop a giant pile of fusion cells. I'm going to get rid of... Uh, do I need this? Do I really need these uh, yet? I don't think that I do. Okay, I'm going to drop those off for now because I'm not going to do any immediate crafting to get me over to... Uh, yeah, uh, 0.50. And as you may have guessed from me dumping the fusion cells, yeah, until I've got science or something a bit better, I am not taking the laser rifle with me any longer. It is simply not good enough. 43 damage is not enough. That's basically been, yeah, replaced with the combat rifle, which uses the more common 45 ammo. Well, not really more common. Like, there's loads of fusion cells dotted about, but 45 is found more frequently. Though when you find fusion cells, you find 10 million of them, but you can find 45 more all over the shop. Drop a handful of throwables too, so down to 169. Maybe leave the uh, 
the pulse mines. I mean, keep two of them just for emergencies. That's all absolutely a-okay. All right, we in good shape? I think we're in good shape there. Oh, I'm a bit swimming in uh, drugs. We do not need this many drugs. Maybe dump all of that too. Here we go. In the end, down to 164. We have got, yeah, 5308, 10445. I had some uh, in storage right here. So uh, that there, that'll flip in do. And let's look at that there combat rifle. Because uh, for now, there's only going to be so much I can do with it. If I go straight up to uh, gun nut two. Then as a result of that, I get myself... Yeah, that's... That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, but I do not get... Hang on, long light is... Uh, that's gun nut three. So, uh, I mean, arguably... No, I need the range. I need the range on this thing. Uh, short stock is fine. That's gun nut three. Yeah, combat rifles are really difficult to actually upgrade. All things considered. So, uh, do I want to do this? You know what? I do. Okay, so uh, I think I know what I want my level ups to be. Step one, it's time for Gun Nut 2. There's a few good things uh, I can do with that. But, and here's the one that might surprise you a bit. I'm going to take Hacker 2 up to Expert Terminals uh, immediately. Now, uh, that one might surprise you a bit. And I will give a shiny bonus point to anyone who can figure out what I'm going for that I need that immediately today. Because we're going to be using that today. And this leads to a few interesting options. In particular, I think it's time. Yes, with Gun Nut 2, I can get this thing up from 85 to 99. Not bad, and I do have the flipping ammo. So, uh, calibrated powerful or no 50. So I'm not double using... Uh, the ammo. So we're moving that straight over to, yeah, 0. 0.50 flipping receiver and Idio Savant 2, which is very, very nice indeed. Not sure I need anything else here, to be honest. I could make this thing lighter, which is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, yeah, you know what? That saves me 0. 0.7. That's not bad at all. This thing, however, is already pretty much set up as much as I could want it to be, but the combat rifle, uh, yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Powerful receiver, 82 damage. Now that, that's flipping nice. Can't get this up to, uh, yeah, light yet. Don't really need that to be any longer than what we have got, which is good because, you know, it can't be. Uh, could get a large magazine going on, but it impacts the weight quite significantly. So right now that's standard sights. Yes, reflex. We definitely want some reflex uh, right there. Dot or circle. I generally prefer circle, so let's uh, go for that. Absolutely lovely. Does it need a muzzle? Well, it definitely doesn't need a knife sticking to the front, so we're fine, because, uh, yeah. Wow, you don't get that silence till level flipping four, so that's, uh, that's a long way off. But yeah, I'd say that there, that's some very good improvements. I wasn't planning to do that, by the way. I just sort of changed my mind last minute, so as a result of that, let's just uh, change the ammo once again. Yeah, here comes the 50 caliber. Lovely, up to 171. Still, I've still got 50 spare, and that's counting around a fat man, which is not the worst thing in the world. And yeah, now the damage on the penetrating is 92 versus the pipe weapon, 99. But they're now crucially using different ammo types, so I'm no longer draining one to use the other. So I've got a lot more, you know, staying power out in the field. Still, this one's got a lot more flexibility to it because accuracy is higher, fire rate is precisely the same, range is, range is the same as well, but you do also get, uh, yeah, because I've got calibrated on that thing, the crits in an emergency are a lot better, penetrating is really nice too, so basically, also why would this thing, oh, because penetrating is both damage and energy, so it can spawn on both, uh, yeah, normal and energy weapons, but yes, the energy resistance bypass, of course, is useless on this gun, because it can never fire energy rounds, well, I guess it could have it, no, because it can't have a second legendary effect, John, that's not how it works in Fallout 4, okay, all ready to go, and where we're going today is uh, south, we're gonna head south via the safe road close by to Diamond City, because there is a bunch of stuff I want to pick up that is all very, very important indeed, ahead of, uh, let's just say I've got one a hell of a finale planned for today. Though I'll admit, this fog is, uh, it's getting thicker, and this isn't going to, to help. Though weirdly, yes, scopes can sort of see through it 
for a second before the fog remembers that's not how fog works. But, uh, okay. I think I know what we need to, uh, to do here. I need a new tool in my arsenal. I wasn't thinking we were going to be needing, uh, just jets. Okay, I just went shopping and was looking for various materials, but uh, in the meantime, the fog cleared. So, what I was going to do right now was, yes, I uh, get uh, weather manipulation sorted out. Because that's a thing you can do through fireworks shells. But, um, the weather seems to have cleared, so... Uh, I'm gonna get on with our adventure instead. Right, we'll discuss that later. Basically, yes, uh, thanks to one of the DLCs, uh, you can use fireworks to actually make things either sunny or rainy or rad stormy. There is no reason to do the latter or indeed either of the two latter. Just make things sunny. Okay, it's just really useful for having a nice sunny day when you need a nice sunny day, which you kind of want all the time for the most part, really. Okay, fire off to the uh, the left. Seems pretty distant. The raiders over here have been taken care of. Uh, I'd probably uh, be a bit happier then again. Do I really want to go out into the open field? Probably not, to be honest. Okay, so we've got the railway yard uh, right here. Here we go. This should all be pretty peaceful, right? And, oh, just a rad stag. Well, that's flipping nothing. No need to worry about... Uh, that at all and hopefully anyway i mean it's a bit of a bit of an angry one but i'm sure it's all ao flipping k you just you know we'll keep our distance from each other it's going to be fine though to be honest i may as well kind of shoot you on the way past oh you are ugly and i don't like it and yes these guys uh, they will occasionally just decide to um run at you uh, or they'll just hide on this occasion inside uh inside a bush right you can go down that was was that a bit of weird physics? Or was there just like an earthquake or an explosion somewhere nearby? Because I'm not sure which it just was. But I'll be having the meat. Because that is good ass meat. Right, let's let's be on our way. Now we're here. What we want to be doing is uh, heading, yeah, pretty much due east. There's a variety of little sites I would like to visit today. So uh, let's just see if we can get lucky with things being uh, quiet. On route. Okay. Things look fine so far. I just want to stay close by to the train. So I've got something to uh, fall back to. What is that noise? I don't know. Maybe I'll be this side of the train. That is aha. Okay. There's radar encampments over there. And weird glitchy textures over on the right. But that's fine. Honestly I think we are. Yeah the odd radar scaver. If I just keep my distance, that should be no trouble at all. Just stay on the high ground. Uh, raiders aren't really further out than that road. Uh, so we should uh, be just flipping golden. Uh, as long as I don't draw too much attention to myself. Okay, we've got... We've got a mercenary over there. But he's a mercenary in... In green. Hang on, are you escorting... Do we have a caravan going on here? Are you... Fred O'Connell. Oh, Fred O'Connell. Right, we'll just be having a very quick chat with you, my friend, as we've now got, you know, friendly people nearby. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. Ah, uh, yes, this is just the guy who, uh, yeah, gives you the map marker for Vault 81. Unfortunately, he's, yes, not going in uh, the same direction as me. That's a shame. He would have made, you know, a nice little friend for me to uh, hang out with very briefly. Oh, oh, hang on, 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 oh, bloody hell. I just walked way too close to a crater. And I definitely took, like, some rads, like a tiny number. The thing is not updated to tell me what it is. Yes, I kind of forgot about the, the giant flipping crater right there. Okay, maybe, maybe skirt around that. Okay, the pop-up has not said how many rads I just took, but I definitely took, like, a tiny, tiny amount of, uh, of rads there. Still, that's fine. We have got spare capacity. Maybe keep my flipping distance. Yes, I was about to, you know, go up to the edge so I could say, yes, look over there, my first destination. Then it all went a bit um, wrong. Yes, we have got ourselves a, a junkyard here. Now, I believe, hang on, there's fire. Yep, there's definitely fire down in that direction. That's kind of good news, actually. This, I believe, is Big John Salvage, which, you know, therefore is mine by flipping right, damn it. And Super Mutants live here. 
and we need to uh, clear them out if we can. This is not essential, but if we can, there's some really, really good stuff to be got here. And if they're actually being attacked by something that's just uh, walked in, then all the flipping better. What is going on over there? I don't know. All right, whatever it is, it's far enough away, it's bloody low textures. Uh, but something just caused a bit of trouble. Oh, never mind. It just gave me an update there up in the, uh, the top left. So it was just waiting for me to go into the, uh, the pit boy. So uh, total rads, 10. That is really not many. I'm sure it's fine. But yeah, I'm going over to plasma grenades. All right, let's go over to the most powerful stuff I've currently got right now. That's, uh, that's what we want to do. And then just move into position on the outskirts. There's Big John Salvage. I am thirsty. Oh, we have got high-level masters. Oh, that's... That worries me. Then again, I feel like I could just crit him right now. Do it. Crit. And, oh, that didn't even kill him. That didn't kill him. That did, though. Okay, that was... Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Did you just see that? 647 XP. Okay. So we just took out the flipping, uh, the master. Right there. Back off, back off. Use the rocks. I just saw him moving over here. They are conceptually aware of me. That there, that was a good use of a crit. Alright, if I can almost crit... Masters, he's got a minigun. Watch out, that spray could be devastating. Instead, just keep an eye on him for the time being. We can pick off some of the folks on the high ground. But if I could clear out this camp, oh, we would be in very, very good shape. And come on. Oh, oh, no. Okay, they're pretty perceptive, as it turns out. They're kind of aware I'm around. I need them to lose interest entirely. And to be honest, it's... What is it? About 5, 6 p.m.? Yeah, we'll be getting into darkness soon. Then my shadow gear will kick in. Uh-oh. One of them's kind of come to, to find me, actually. But that's fine. Oh, now we're in danger. Okay, now we need to back off for a second, especially as they're tossing explosives. Okay, back off. Not towards the giant crater that gives you rads, though. Not in that direction. Back off. Wait. Use this building a little bit of a uh, little bit of cover everything's gonna be a-okay it's all under control caution fading fast use a third person to make sure none of them get up to me yeah one of them's up top of the hill and they've already lost me good in fact i might be able to get a counter snipe in on him if i could just get into a bit of an elevated position from where i am darn it where'd he go I see him right there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just hold, hold, hold. Go for the head if you can. And not quite, not quite. But he's going to be coming in this direction now. Go. That was a miss. Come on, where are you? Where are you? I see you. I see you. I... Then he's backing off. He doesn't know where I am. He doesn't have a location on me and I don't have him. Oh, no. Down, hidden. Nobody else knows my location. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, the ones that did know about me are now dead. Marvellous. And whatever's going on here, they're still firing. So, if we're lucky, they're about to be distracted by something or someone else. Alright, if I could just clear this location. Legendary Super Mutant Enforcer. Great. Flippin' love it. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. I mean, a crit to the head... Would that be enough to kill him and stop him regenerating? Maybe. Kind of a bit on the unclear side. Hmm. Okay. I probably should have taken that shot when I had it. I see you over there. What are you? You look basic to me. So we're just going to pop you in the... No, you were a skirmisher. So that was a problem. Okay, blind fire. Not real fire. Don't panic. There's another one dead. Now, is that blind fire at me, or are they just firing at something else? Because I'm now repositioned, so any blind fire is now not going in my direction. You've got to fire and reposition. But watch that space, they might be coming up through there. Okay, seems peaceful. Back to uh, hidden. I'm just going to poke my head through this gap, and there's a lot of fire in this place. Alright, there are definitely other people around. 
and I don't really know who's where. Okay, there was one at the front door, but they might be dead by now. Okay, probably best just loop round to the rocks. Get the legendary, nail him. I just want to nail that legendary with a shot to the head. Bear in mind, my adrenaline is not high right now. I'm not as strong as I might be at better times. And also, I'm not sure at exactly what time Shadow is officially allowed to, uh, yes, be deemed to have kicked in. There's the legendary. Alright, just... I see him there. Screw it. Crit! And is that going to be good enough to finish him off? Yes, it is. Okay. So the legendary is now dead on the ground. But I don't have a crit anymore. I've used both the crits. Alright. Just loop around. Because, yeah. Nice thing about Big John Salvage is uh, you've got a lot of sniping opportunities. Just watch out for... I see you over there, Skirmisher. Okay. Uh, when I say I see you, I don't really have a great shot. The legendary's right there in the centre. Just be flipping ready. I do not have a good shot at you. Like, at all. Irritatingly, that'd be a great crit, but I do not have a crit right now. And I don't really want to be going in. Can I nail that shot? Really depends on hitboxes. Nope, that was a mess. Okay. Just be ready. Admittedly, that was a bit unfortunate because that was a silent shot. So, uh, the fact I went into caution is uh, a little bit of a shame. I need a better position. I need to loop around a bit. Right, there's an enforcer down there. And oh, bloody hell, there's, there's a lot of them that are now, yeah, higher flipping tiers of mutant. Because now I'm south of Boston, we've got flipping trouble. Okay, let's talk about why I'm actually here, by the way, which is you may notice, yeah, now I've moved around here, you can see there's a little staircase going into, uh, yeah, a uh, fallen down, broken old uh, train. Now, uh, there is a hatch in there, and in that hatch is a really valuable bit of loot, but it doesn't open uh, by itself. Instead, if you want to access it, you've got to turn on the generator. To do that, that's got to be done through a manual switch, that's just down uh, in that direction. So, uh, all we've got to do really is clear out this side of... Oh, bloody hell, there's... There's more of them than I thought here. Is this worth it? Because, uh, yeah, there's a powerful gun that I can get really early on this way. The problem is... Yeah, there's... There's always more super mutants than you think there's going to be. And that's an enforcer. Which is not good news. Okay, hold still. Oh, that does nothing. That's... Okay, if it was just him coming in this direction, maybe, just maybe, we could take care of him because he's trying to use a wooden board. Like, you know, if we pick off the ones who don't have guns, that might be sort of workable. But I feel like, yeah, they've... They've spawned a bit too tough for me yet. We might need to come back to this one. More coming from over there. That's another enforcer. I don't have the crits anymore. No, I think we have to leave it. The weapon's the, um, the railway rifle, which is uh, really strong. Really, really damn strong. But, to be honest, it's... You can't really mod it. So once you get up to modded weaponry, it kind of falls away. And I'm already up to uh, level 2 and 3 mods. I feel like this is one we uh, we walk away from. I'm feeling like this is uh, not the right call, actually. Sometimes in You Only Live Once, you have to pick your fights. And uh, on this occasion, there's too many of them, uh, too high level. I think we need to back down. Oh, though, I was trying to sneak away and then there was a bear. So maybe just... Oh, bloody hell. Actually, you know what? The bear is, if I could get a good shot at the bear... I could build my crit up on the bear. Or I could lead the bear in this direction. I mean, the bear is... Uh, the bear's not really that strong. Maybe we just get a couple of good shots on the bear. So, sneak. And then uh, another for you. There we go. And caution. Okay, my suppressed weaponry isn't doing precisely that. 
There was another one. 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 Toss grenade set. Toss grenade set. Toss grenade set. Toss grenade set. That did. That was a plasma grenade. That was something very valuable we just wasted there. Fortunately, this bear appears to be mostly blind. So, okay, that's everything's under control. Aside from the fact I just wasted a plasma grenade on, like, a basic bear. But that's fine. There were two bears, as it turns out. You know, the old adage is always true. The bear is still bloody around. And even better, with them dead, the bear was actually guarding... Oh, it was guarding one of its cubs, which ended up dead. That's sad. Oh, but now... Uh, Here's interesting. I didn't realise these two sites were so close to each other. What we have got here is, uh, yes, the Boston checkpoint. The, uh, yeah, South Boston checkpoint. Now, this is probably going to be held by gunners, or at least that's what I was thinking was going to happen. But I don't see them. Oh, they might be asleep right now. But they're actually really, really close to the super mutants. If I could make Faction A meet Faction B, that's... Oh. Who's that over there? Oh, that's definitely a radar. We're just gonna... Okay, we're into higher level stuff around here. This is... This is not a joke, actually. This is... Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm going to... I'm gonna let them come in this direction. Because if they like to walk into Super Mutant Town, everything is now... Right, I'm level 20 and everything's gone to hell. Because now all of a sudden... Yes, a lot of very tough enemies have started spawning, like, fast. Still, he's now actually walking away, so... Yep, we're just gonna pick him off, because that is a lot of XP. Alright, survival mode, plus idiot savant. That can be, uh, that can be huge, huge amounts of XP, uh, just from picking off the odd raider, or whatnot. And then again, he didn't, he didn't trigger anyone here. Which makes me think there's... And watch out for those barrels, by the way. There are barrels right there. So watch out for rats. That makes me think that the firefight I heard earlier might have been mutants versus... Uh, yeah, these guys. Or they're just asleep. I know there are beds in here. I'm hungry and thirsty. That's fine. And there's also barrels bloody everywhere, which is not ideal. And hello, sexy. Right, yes, um, if you're on the people who thought, well, obviously John's going to the South Boston checkpoint because he wants to get the power armor there, yes, congratulations, you get a cookie. Um, that is precisely what I want. It struck me as, yeah, the closest, easiest, safest spawn of a full suit of power armor. And uh, if I'm right, because of the level I am and the fact I've never come to this cell before, that should have spawned as T60, a full suit of T60, not flipping bad. Okay, time to start moving in, though bloody hell I'm right between two bloody sets of barrels here. Alright, nice and calm and quiet. Alright, just see what we got here. See what it is, uh, see if I can figure out whether they're just asleep or whether they're dead. Okay, you're just, you're just chilling out right there. That's a gun of conscript, which is honestly a pretty good... Uh, that's a good result for me. Right there. Okay, just keep your eye out. See if there's anyone else around. But I'm not seeing much else. Yeah, you're right there. I feel like, actually, we might just be able to uh, snipe you. And then hide in that trailer right there. So I say that there. That is... That's a good plan. Right. I'd love to take some VAT shots. Okay, you're dead. No one seems to care. Good. Good, good, good. No one seems fussed by these guys uh, dying. For some reason, the super mutants and the raiders are spawning. Uh, yeah, really tough level 20 variants. But the gunners, uh, they've spawned with their basic level 1 variants. So, uh, them, I should be able to one-shot. Are we good here by the way yeah we're fine in here so this is a good spot to hide out potentially okay moving in because i'm sure it's not just one unless someone has been killed already all right ignore that that's just an automatically playing message yeah just the brackets are shuffling are they shuffling more as i get closer yes they are there's someone else in there and if i've killed the conscript that would suggest someone 
Nastia is here. They're probably wearing armor. That means what I want to be using is uh, penetrating. Just be ready to use anything at my disposal. Watch for flipping movements. All right, this is fine. Everything's under control. Where are you? Are you hiding at the back? There's someone in here. I know there's someone in here. Come on. Then again, they don't seem that perceptive. Ignore, ignore the magazine, John. Ignore the magazine. Just be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. And oh, hi over there. You're a commander. We're just going to bop you in the head now. And one. And uh oh, no, no, now he's moved position. Another shot to the torso. Takes him down. Okay, I knew there was a commander here, damn it. And uh, free plasma pistol. Good, I'm glad we didn't pay for that. Because that is, uh, yeah, much better to not pay for it. And yeah, we're starting to get good combat armor showing up here. In fact, you know what? My right arm is currently not legendary. So it might be time to, yeah, do the switch over on the arms. I'm pretty sure it's my... Yeah, it's my arms that aren't legendary. My chest and legs are both legendary. However, yeah, I don't have... Hang on, what's the... Yes, powered. I forgot what one of them was there for a second. Uh, my arms are not. And they're not really doing the job anymore. So, uh, if I see those, uh, I should be taking them. So, we'll be taking you. Uh, and I will take a plasma pistol as well. Because we should be able to convert that to a rifle. So, it'll be a lot stronger. Even if I don't actually have any science. Oh, hang on, the... The brackets are still shuffling. Uh-oh. Is there another one? Maybe. There could be. And by the way, I'll be helping myself to... Oh, explosives and whatnot. That'll flip and do the job. What is this, by the way? Photon exciter. Automatic barrel. Sharpshooter's grip. Reflex. Not enough to justify, yeah, going back over to, uh, yeah, my laser weaponry. The Photon Exciter, I'm pretty sure, is what I've already got. The rest of it is not so good for me. Okay, seriously. Who else is here? Someone else is uh, around. And I don't know uh, who they are or where they are precisely. I think there might be someone, like, up there or something. Because I swear it was more agitated uh, when I was... Uh, yeah, inside of that base. So, okay, just skip around the side over here. And maybe it's the mutants? I don't know. I'll be taking all of that. Thank you. Well, the glue at least. And here we go. Expert terminal. Need that to access this. Right, he goes down. And we get ourselves... Uh, darn it. It's T-51. I thought that was going to be T-16. Because I'm over level... Uh, I thought it was level 18. There was the threshold. Maybe I came too close to here previously and it already spawned the armor. Still, it is a full condition suit of T-51B, which is not the worst thing in the world at all. The question is, do I want it now? And uh, I think I do. Then again, that's giving up stealth. Should I grab this on the way back? Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I'm going to grab this on the way back, actually. Okay, my next move, if we're going to be grabbing that on the... Uh, then again, I should really maybe take this. I'm just a bit... Oh, I'm really in two minds uh, whether I want to actually get in uh, that armor right now or not. No, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to take it with me, even though I'm a little bit worried uh, about the level to which people are almost detecting me. Uh, I think it's a good idea based on uh, what I'm planning to, you know, walk into right now. Even like this, my stealthiness is, uh, it's okay. And if I have to abandon this somewhere en route for additional stealthiness, then we can come back and get it later. It's fine. We got a spare fusion core. Everything's going to be okay. And next on my destination is, yeah, we're going due east because uh, we're going to try and do it. We are going to try and take the flipping castle. The only question is, oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe the power armor was a bit of a mistake, because I've immediately gone into caution. And I don't I don't even know which direction it's gonna. What gunner? Maybe around the back over there. Okay, just keep it slow, keep it dark. My shadow gear is no longer protecting me, my legendary gear is no longer protecting me, and I'm a lot heavier than I used to be. 
I feel like I might have just made a really bad decision, FYI. Just over two here. Yeah, that doesn't feel stealthy, jumping. So yeah, there's a raider camp over there. If I just go, that's going to be another raider camp over here. If I head due east, I should be able to squeeze between them. Hopefully. Okay, things are looking peaceful so far. Hang on, what's the state of my... Okay, I do have a crypt in hand just there. Okay, the fact that's lit up concerns me. No, that's a lift going up to the top. So if I just pass straight under them, is anybody guarding that lift? Sometimes the bases are guarded. Sometimes that that wasn't fire. That was just a flame effect loading in. It's fine. It's just like a torch or something. We're not going up top, obviously, because I'm not mad. Okay, just... Are you ready? Are you ready for trouble and any people who might try and cause trouble by like say shooting me okay there's another camp right there uh what are you by the way i don't know vats can't attack them all right stay away from that camp stay away from you stay away from you all right we should be able to use these streets to our advantage to just sneak around the outside of the raider bases and uh, Anything shy of a raider, in fact, you know what, even a raider, a crit to the head will kill a raider. I do have everything to hand. My adrenaline is going up. This is all absolutely fine. Not that way, this way. And the brackets are starting to calm down a bit. All right, there's the police station. That's positive. Avoid you. Stay over here, maybe into that back alley if we can. Do I have sight of anything? Okay, no one's guarding this. At night, sometimes people just go to sleep. Because that's, you know, a thing that happens at night. Is this a side street, by the way? Because I'd really appreciate it if... It's not a side street. Good, 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 good. Just keep it slow. Now I'm hearing a distant gunfire. Could be from the far side of this camp. This camp has got nobody guarding. There we go. No one's guarding this. This is fine. Everything's under control. We're going into, yes, any more flooded territory, which is fine. But do keep in mind that does mean a possibility of... Uh... Okay. Somebody just fired a nuke. That's, that's fine. And... Uh... I don't go either of these directions, to be honest. So, okay, as I'm wearing power armor, and thus I have the ability to toss myself off rooftops, we're going flipping up top. All right, if we can just sneak around up top, that'd be flipping marvelous. So, where's the scum that just detected me? Okay, are you aware of me? You know what? No, you're going down. Just in case. Not that Shadowed is in play anymore, but I believe uh, that makes life more difficult anyway. There might be raiders up top, but if there are, we just nail them, and then we have the rooftop. And then... I see you over there. Yeah, I do see you over there. 78%, H2. Come on, come on, come on, come on, just nail them. Okay, caution. Maybe we just get up onto the roof before anyone else comes and investigates, because I feel like, yep, here we go, good. That's, that was the right move. Oh, I say that. No, that's Parker Quinn. That's fine. Parker Quinn doesn't want to murder me. Do I want to take myself a spare? I won't say no to a fusion core. Parker, if you're there, that means there's no raiders here. Right? Are we good? Are we golden? They're not following me. They couldn't follow me this far. Okay, Parker. Okay, we're good. So now we can just go... I say this way, there's... That's a mutant camp. Just a small one. But bloody hell, this area is busy and occupied. Right, hop down. Don't speak to Park Quinn. But the fact he's here means there won't be enemies, like, right here. Because otherwise, uh, they might kill him. There's a camp over there. We want to get around and... John, you could have a quest marker for this, you know. There we go, much better. So yeah, we're going to stay on the right, loop round over here, try and get to the coast, or at least close by to it, and then we should be a-okay. 
This doesn't appear to be... No, this doesn't appear to be guarded right now. I'm being detected by Parker Quinn, which doesn't help. And I left a skill magazine at that base, didn't I? And it was actually one of the good ones, I think. Okay, that's fine. We'll be going back there sooner or later. We'll pass by. It'll all be a-okay. I'm parched. That's fine. My intelligence being down is actually kind of a good thing. Oh, the brackets are... What is that? Legendary, legendary radar. Nail him. Okay, I just want a legendary raider down. And wow, that's a lot of flipping uh, XP. Idio Savon doing an excellent job there. And uh, level 21. Okay, so that is, uh, that is good. And I also never got the... Wow, okay, I've just been leaving things behind left, right, and center. I didn't get the legendary off the, um, uh, the mutant to kill. Then again, going in would have been dangerous. I probably could have pulled it off. But you know, regardless... Still, we have at this point, yeah, still lost uh, 40 hit points, going up 5 a level, we're okay for now. Though, irritatingly, that means I kind of need to step inside uh, this base to get, you know, uh, the stuff of his corpse. Okay, well, I'm wearing power armor. If they shoot me, it's really not the worst thing in the world. Uh, like, they're gonna do, they're gonna do nothing. I see a waster, who's already taken a few knocks from... Uh, something. The problem is, yeah, I don't have a crit in hand right now, which is always a concern. Where's he gone? I can't see him. I think the better option might be to, if I could just, um, jump over the top here. Is this allowed? Is this okay? Yeah, we're good. Let me open the door. And now we get out over here. And there's the waster. You know what? I've got a really good shot at... You know what? Don't take it yet. Get the goods first. And just as soon as we are... Powered synth chest. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Uh, right now my chest is... Uh, I mean, arguably, I prefer the chest I've got. Because the chest I've got... This was the first ever bit I actually grabbed. Was uh, plus agility, uh, plus perception. But it is uh, falling behind, slowly but surely. Powered AP refresh speed. Uh, that's 14 and 19 uh, with no upgrades on it whatsoever. Cunning is uh, better. Yeah, that's 14 and 11. Okay, we'll need to evaluate that. But I'm taking it, obviously. Because, uh, yeah, the Raider piece is just going to start falling more and more and more behind. And by the way, I'll be having 308 too. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now just start sneaking out of here. How many more are we looking at? I think we're fine. So you, my friend, are going to be shot. Someone is going to be not thrilled about that. I'm just going to drop down over to here and be somewhere else. If you'd like to come over in this direction and investigate who just shot your friend. Well, I see someone there. It's another waster. Does he know my location at this point? And can I get a shot at him? Uh, Not with that. Because, oh... Yes, can. Yes, with that. Good. One. Down he goes. I think we should just close this door. And do I potentially want to loop down into the water until the heat fades? Okay. Was that? We still don't have a crit. Okay. Can I hear footsteps? I do not believe I can. There's someone over there. And, ooh, there's actually a way through over here. That's kind of nice. Where are you? Where are you? Psycho. Don't know the state of that psycho's health. Could potentially be uh, trouble. Might want to back off over onto this road and we're back to hidden. Okay, just be ready. Because in this part of the world, yeah, you can have myelokes and myelokes can be uh, nasty bastards. But we are, hang on, is that, is that one right there? No, that's a post box, John. I mean, they're vaguely round and green, so I can see the confusion, but no. And speak of the devil, there's one right ahead of me. Okay, now that, that is a Maya look. So, one in the head for you. Yeah, we're now going very much into Maya look territory. And the problem is at this range, oh. Okay. I heard a bit of fire there for a second. And yeah, unlike in, say, 
uh, Fallout 3 or New Vegas, where sometimes you hear fire, it's not real, it's just like part of the soundtrack. In Fallout 4, it's always real. If you hear gunfire, someone is firing at somebody else. So that's uh, an important thing to be aware of. It's a real thing. I'm not seeing trouble over there. I feel like we should just move in yeah, this direction. That's a handful of eggs. If I don't get close to them, that's... Well, that was interesting. Um, that's... There you go. So it's just dogs versus scaver. I'm just going to let that play out. And then we'll just uh, pick off the uh, the winner. Who's going to be left uh, wounded from all of that. Have you taken out those dogs uh, just yet? No, but you're working on it. Okay, now you have. And you, my friend. Uh, yeah, if we can, 70%. And that should be a kill. Lovely. Down he goes. Anyone else care about that? Someone cares about that, actually. Uh, there was, yeah, the camera showed me someone else. That's another nice thing about Vats, of course. Which is sometimes the kill camera literally reveals people to you uh, that otherwise you had not yet seen which can be extremely bloody useful just keep your eye out over here there was one behind him we've just got a few more i see you and wait and he's let oh he's legendary okay but that's take one shot at him right now and now i've got the crit okay crit him and now finish him off and hidden that was the best way to take care of that, even though it did involve me now being dangerously exposed in terms of a low crit. Okay, this is all fine. Maybe we can get something else good. Are we on a bit of a, uh, a legendary roll right now? And the answer is no. Mutant Slayer is... I mean, damage reduction is amazing. Damage reduction that is situational to a particular enemy type is kind of garbage. Because you don't want to be, well, in survival mode, you can't be carrying around all the different pieces you'd need uh, for all the different scenarios. And uh, honestly, in You Only Live Once, if you're under fire, you've got bigger problems than worrying about whether, you know, you're taking 15% damage reduction or not. So that's, it's just not a starter. And it's another combat armor right arm, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping for the left. Yeah, plus it's, um, it's leather. We're going to leave that. Honestly, I'm going to leave that be... I will take the stim packs just to sell, though. Okay. Keep on moving forward here. Keep on moving forward. I only saw one raider in the background, and the brackets seem under control at the minute, which is really good news. And I say that. I say that followed immediately by the brackets starting to uh, do a bit of a dance. Generally, I don't trust any area where anything is, you know, uh, lit up at all because lit up is generally i'll take 308 thank you is generally a sign of hey raiders have set themselves up here hope you're looking forward to bloody raiders just keep an eye out some of them might be sleeping well this was a bit of a base but if so it was a very very tiny one so uh, i'll just be having your stuff and the brackets just shuffled while i was still that means something else nearby is moving What is that? I don't know, but I'm dropping down over... Then again, I don't really want to drop down into areas which are right by the ocean that I haven't properly scouted. Because those bloody... Oh, uh, what are they called? The damn starfish barnacle whatevers. Uh, the... That bird is just stuck. Marvellous. They do sometimes get stuck on the ground there. Yes, they can just spray rads in your face which can be devastating and they only exist by the coast so don't go right down to the seafront unless you're very confident they're not there or you're paying close attention to all of the walls because otherwise uh, trouble and there it is there's the castle we're almost there right check the front so that's a mylurk uh which to be honest we need to uh, could just get rid of you you're a basic mylurk you know what just put a bullet in you all right, there's... Oh, there's two. There's two. There's two. I don't have any grenades set. Frag grenade. Go. That'll do the job. Hopefully. That didn't do the job. I got the angle all wrong. Another one. Better. Okay. How are you now? Okay, you're nice and dead. And on top of that, I'll just take a nice torso shot too. No, seriously. This is not... This is not cool. This is not cool. Why are you... Come back, you coward. I kind of need you to be dead. I don't like you wandering around where I can't bloody see you. Actually, they don't know where I am, which is fascinating. 
Um, 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 where did you just go? Where did they just go and why are my VAT shots messing up? There you go. I see you right there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please, please come back. Please, the flip, come back. I'm going to go around over here. See if I can get a shot from the end of the... Please, please come back. Okay? Just, just finish him off. Okay? And... Vats is not happy with me today. There you go. Bloody finally. And that should be it. Because, yeah, there's nothing right here for the simple reason this is where you do the, um, the artillery test. So enemies don't really spawn here because... Uh, They'd be spawning on an artillery training ground, which would be a bad place to spawn. So, uh, okay. I mean, bloody hell, that was terrifying with the armor, but at least we, uh, at least we made it. And I don't need to worry about being detected right now, because what's going to be almost detecting me is... Uh, should be my friends. Don't fire, by the way, because, you know, uh, oil, bad things. There we go. Uh, they're right here. Okay, uh, my friends... Uh, Let's flipping make this happen. And yeah, once you've got a few friends uh, to just, you know, run distraction for you. Oh, you guys are showing up in shirts and like hats and whatever. Oh, guys, you, you didn't come well prepared, did ya? And I'm going to go over to the tactical powerful combat rifle because in terms of power, it's nearly as good. But the fire rate is hugely better. And that's what we need in the event of emergencies against, say, swarms of very small little baby hatchlings, or against, you know, more than one mile oak if they're coming at me and I run out of AP. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be the first run out of the tactical powerful combat rifle. Oh, and speak of the flipping devil, I shan't say no to a handful of mines. And just before we, uh, we kick this off, I've got a plan. All right, I have got myself a very, uh, very good plan for five frag grenades. I won't say no to that either. I'd forgotten that was there, but that's actually, uh, very, very useful indeed. So, uh, yes, you're probably thinking, John, you're currently scared of Raider Wasters. Are you 100% sure you want to take on a Milo Queen? Why, yes. Yes, I am. For one very important reason. We are going to be blowing her the flip up. All right. Demo Expert 1 right now. All right. That is going to be an increase to the damage my mines are doing and an increase to the explosion damage, which is where most of the damage comes from on the fat man. So uh, that there, oh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be some good stuff. That's kind of the plan. And the tactic I want to utilize is guns blazing, because basically I want these guys drawing the attention so I can just pick them off from a distance. All right, I want these guys to be taking the flipping fire. So uh, guns blazing, it flipping is. Let's go. Also, I can't help but notice one of you seems to have brought um, basic pipe weaponry. Some of you have brought, uh, yeah, some good stuff. Some of you, uh, not, not so much, actually. So this is going to be, uh, this is going to be interesting uh, that some of you are going to be using pipe weaponry. Yeah, definitely don't trust them to flipping uh, flank or anything. Just, there we go. They're now in position. And at this point, we just basically uh, move in. And, uh, yeah, start kicking ass, though. Watch out for anything that might have, you know, uh, speed. So, uh, yeah, things that are dangerous in terms of... There we go, they're just going in. Right, 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 right. So let's just head over here. And the egg's going to start spawning sooner rather than later. And you, my friends, if I could just get a good shot in... Uh, can I actually hit the... Uh, I mean, I can hit the shell. I don't want to hit the shell. And here we go. We're going to have little buggy bugs. Now, the little bugs are useful, because that's three points that I can actually, you know, just hit to get my crits up. Because one of my crits is not in good shape. So just watch out for these little guys. And there we go. As I was hoping for, I can just pick off the little ones. That's getting my crits in good shape. Some of my friends are going to be essential for the time being, so that's going to be absolutely A-OK. -okay. And yeah, we seem to have just sort of walked straight in. I'll take a couple of shots at the legs. There's one and two, and then just take you out as well. There's going to be a lot of XP that gets, uh, yeah, handed out right here too. There's going to be a huge amount. So if you guys would just like to... Uh, hello over there. So how about we just uh, pick off your... Well, I've got a shot at the arm. The arm doesn't do much. The legs are somewhat vulnerable, but are you going to turn and face me? Good. Thought you might want to. So we're just going to take care of that. One and crit, because you're a bit too dangerous. And uh-oh. You see this? This is why we wanted to... Now they're sort of all coming for me, actually. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, okay, start, start running, actually. Start running and screw with their pathing by jumping over the top of things. Uh, this is uh, this is a concern. 
Actually, this is a major concern. Okay, fall back to uh, this position because they can't climb or like jump or anything. So, oh yeah, now you don't know what to do, do you? No, now you don't have any flipping clue what you're supposed to be doing, you stupid bastards. I'm going to try and get around the... Oh, 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 where are you? I don't... I don't know the fact I don't know where he is anymore. I'm not sure we can get in here, though. Wait, where is he? I don't hear him. And I don't like that one little bit. I'm just going to hide in this corner. I've got my AP back at this point. It's fine. So, as soon as they lose interest, they'll start wandering back towards the, uh, the castle. I kind of knew there was a good chance they'd try and beeline me. And uh, something died. Are we good? I think you might have gone back to the castle because now I can't hear anything and I seem to be gaining XP from somewhere. Right, there's definitely still firing going on. And yeah, now the actual courtyard is clear. We need to start thinking about uh, the big lad. Or rather, the big ladette. In particular, yes, there's going to be um, there's gonna be a Milot Queen coming in. Pretty darn soon actually so okay you guys are all nice and dead some of you might be still planning to spawn we should be all right for the minute if i just get too close to these guys uh, yep there we go take out all the eggs that's all fine that's no problem at all so yep and they're gonna start hatching uh does anyone know whether i see you over there this is a good way just to again build up my critical meter which i kind of want to do so just let some of them hatch in a second. And, oh blimey, there's several of them. One. And you might be about to get the tiniest hit on me because I kind of went for the one that was furthest away. Nope, someone else got him first. So that's all absolutely fine. I see you. Just get you over there. And I just need a little bit more in the way of... Are we golden? I'm going to clear out the central courtyard first. And yes, now we need to destroy the egg clutches. But that's fine because this is, this is positive. I'm going to leave that to... There's one right there. They kind of get right up on top of you very fast, actually. And just wait, wait, wait. Okay, you guys take care of that. Okay, just take care of these ones. Everything's fine. Because, yes, you know what's coming soon. Something very bad is coming soon. Are we good for the time being? And do I have a crit in hand? I now have a crit in hand. Okay, so now, now we lay the trap. Because I've been, you know, just uh, sitting on uh, a fair few bottle cap mines this entire time. So, uh, for 376 damage a go, uh, yeah, I think we'll just be uh, popping a few of them down, actually. This could work very nicely. Okay, four bottle cap mines, an extra two just for good luck. When the queen comes up here and tries to infiltrate the castle, she's going to be in trouble. All right, I'm pretty sure they've now cleared out these ones up here. So yeah, this is precisely where I want to be. Now I want to go up top. Okay, and I'd like you to go first, ideally. Yeah, take out these lads. Take out the little lads. Get a second crit in hand. If we can, just take out you and take out you. One and two. There we go. There's not much XP in this, to be honest, but it'll do the flipping job. Then we just keep focusing on all of this. It's a bit of a waste of ammo. Should have actually brought my laser along for this because it would have been a good use for that. I'm kind of wasting 45 right now, which is a bit of a shame. And yeah, now I want to be as far away from this side of the castle when we clear out the last cluster. So it looks like there's only yeah, a handful left over there. This is probably we're in about the right spot here. And where's where's Preston just gone? I was kind of hoping Preston. Preston, I'd like you to be taking the lead on this one. Because I don't want to be getting too close to, you know what, it's fine. Let's just start uh, putting a few bits of uh, bullets in. There we go. I heard a giant rumble. It's flipping time. It's go time. It's time for us to get the fat man and be ready. All right. Just wait. I heard the rumble. Yeah. I heard a rumble. Was that just a warning rumble? Because I thought that was like, it's go time rumble. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is it properly. Let's flip and go. All right. Fat man. Ready to go. Wait. Fall back. Be out of sight. Wait. There was just a very, very large noise. Okay, Preston specifically just said, What the hell was that? So, that would suggest. There we go, Queen's coming in. And now, now we see whether the plan worked. Okay, Queen's just going to come straight up out of the ocean, straight into the trap. I'm just going to stay 
over here, out of the way for the time being. Caution and... Well, who would have thunk it? The Queen appears to be dead. I'm sure it was a very big dramatic fight uh, right there that uh, that killed the Queen. I'm sure it was, you know, one for the flipping uh, history books. I might have gone a bit uh, overboard, to be honest. I think I could have got away with just the bottle cap mind. In fact, I probably could have done it with just the regular mind and then saved myself the, uh, the bottle caps. That would have been fine. And uh, there was also uh, the last flipping egg clutch, I believe. Hang on, are you... That was not the last egg clutch. There was literally an egg there. You guys are so bad at this. And there's more of a bloody here as well. Why are you guys so terrible at figuring out when we've dealt with the bloody Maya lurks? And there's some over there. I can literally... You haven't touched that one. Bloody hell, guys. Okay, you know what? It's... No, we need to take care of this. Because if we don't take care of this now, then it's just going to be a problem down the line. Okay, all these here Mola. Toffs, we've been carting around. They're kind of rapidly running out of uh, utility. Uh, they can be very, uh, very useful for... There's literally a Maya Lurk up there, lads. Why are you all so flipping bad at this? Okay, just wake you up. There you go. And just get a few more hits in right there. Combat Rifle doing the job very nicely. Okay. I think I have now at this point got them all, which is marvellous. Does anyone know where the um, uh, the queen ends up? Good, 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 good. Sometimes she just kind of gets uh, exploded into next week and it's hard to actually, uh, you know, find the uh, the body. Which is a shame because that meets good stuff. Oh, and here's nice. She's actually got, yes, heavy variants. So uh, this is actually, is this the first time I've seen a heavy or sturdy? Yes, armor can just be basic or it can be sturdy or it can be heavy. Sometimes elite enemies uh, can drop the heavy stuff. So uh, yeah, combat armor, left arm 17, 17. The right arm, which is basic, is only 9 and 9. So uh, honestly, uh, that's worth taking. And that there is, uh, I mean, it's bloody heavy. That's bloody heavy. I mean, that weighs 2 versus uh, heavy metal, which weighs at uh, flipping 12.8. I cannot justify that. I'm so sorry. This for seven, however, versus... Uh, hang on, that's uh, versus two. I'll take it. I'll flip and take it and the ammo, of course, to make up for all the eggs I've had to shoot because my allies are useless. Good, 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 good. Everything is... Uh, everything's marvellous. So, that was the first queen kill. <laughs> you just got to know where they are. And then you can sort of trap them. So, for those people who are saying, John, you're using very few mines for you. Yeah, I've just been kind of uh, saving them up for this one moment right here. Well, I guess it could be worse. Wow, that's, that's cold, Preston. You've literally got a flipping corpse right here. Also, guns and bullets. Not going to say no to that. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, lovely. Uh, got a little bit of, yeah, fixing up to do uh, in this part of the world. But mostly... Uh, we have got, yeah, some uh, some good stuff right here. Plenty of workbenches, or at least chemistry. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Ah, yes, I may as well step out of uh, power armor while I'm actually working around here. No reason to burn fusion cores for no reason, as apparently we are okay for the time being. Okay, we've already got a good amount of stuff in here, which is positive. Probably more than enough in terms of uh, what we need. So... Main problems we've got right now are, yeah, one person is here. Is that you? And, ah, you need to be assigned to uh, the radio. So that means Preston Garvey is... Well, Preston Garvey doesn't actually live here. So, okay, if I need defence, that means we need to set up uh, an actual turret. I don't have anyone to assign. So that's all absolutely fine. Trouble is going to be coming from uh, this direction. So may as well just put a turret down right there. Okay, this place should now not really be... Uh, attacked. We're going to be needing some basic food and water. Uh, I'm going to say uh, food and water. We've got no one to work the food. So, uh, I mean, there's plenty of Maya Lurk around. Just eat that, I suppose. We'll just put a nice pump right over there. And this thing needs, was it 10 power? Yeah, this thing needs 10 power. But I'm pretty sure they've just given me everything I need already. So we should be golden. Not for generator medium, just need steel. Oh, well, that's the easiest thing to come around. I just need to break down some stuff around here. And, uh-oh, there's, there's more bloody, junk, bloody, junk. okay, just, just, guys, guys, we're still not cocky, done with the Myalurks. Here we go, broken old artillery, nothing we can do there, that's going to get me eight steel, that is going to be a plenty. When I say plenty, it's only saying one, possibly I need a tiny bit, I forgot to, there's so much bloody stuff that needs to be 
broken down and killed yet. Okay, now we should have enough. No reason not to leave a little bit of power around here. We can always uh, redo this later. So just hook you into you, hook you into you, and uh, we should have got ourselves a radio flipping freedom. Love it. I was literally just talking to Preston to congratulate him about, you know, Radio Freedom. And straight away, he's talking to me about bloody Somerville Place and whatnot. So, uh, Scouts found a new spot. Was that... Was that Somerville Place? Was that what you were just actually saying? Or was that... No, that was... I'm gonna be honest. Someone else already told me to go to Zamonja. Um, so... Ooh. If I go to Zamonja and take it, like, does it belong to the Minutemen... And the railroad? I'm not sure. Would you object to this being like, you know, a synth hideout? Because, to be honest, that's kind of what I was planning to make it. Ah, yes. Now as the fog actually settles back in, we might have a good opportunity to uh, show this off here. So, okay, here we go. You're around here somewhere, aren't you? Here we go. A firework mortar. I'm lacking in asbestos, unfortunately, so I can't actually build this right now. But yes, this is in uh, Power Miscellaneous, which is marvellous. So... All we need to do then is just lay this down. It's really easy to put together. It doesn't have any requirements whatsoever. So you can do this right from the start of the game if it's important to you. Then you just go over to a chemistry at workstation. Fireworks. And yeah, then you've got uh, emergency flares and just pretty ones up front. But then at the bottom, uh, weather change. This is all legit. This is part of the base game. Well, DLC, but whatever. And then you can just sort of make the sky clear or rainy or a rad storm. So basically having a handful of those just so you know you can make it not foggy if you're worried about visibility. Because yeah, fog doesn't affect uh, enemy chance of detecting you, I believe. It just makes it much harder for you to detect them manually. So I can't do it right here as I don't have the right materials. But yeah, if I was to find uh, the right stuff dotted about and Seriously, there's so cocking many eggs. Here we go. I've been looking around and I've found myself a, uh, a firework mortar. So that's just absolutely marvellous. We may as well just uh, pop that down right over here. Yep, I know they work, game. It's fine. And then I just need, yeah, fertiliser to make everything clear. Because it's gold for clear, uh, nuclear material for Radstorm, or silver for rain. I'm not sure there's much real science going on here, by the way. And conveniently, this is going to leave me with a lot of flipping food. Alright, picked up some rad stag earlier. My alert cakes got the eggs. That's actually not useful because it doesn't actually... Uh... Wait, does that sort out... Does that sort out hunger regardless? I feel like there's no point. I'm better off just going for, yes, this lovely queen state right over there. One of them, you'll be feeling golden. Picked up some mutt chops earlier. Pretty sure we have got, yes, screw it. Just do this right over here. Everything is lovely. Don't forget those bears who almost killed me earlier. This is, uh, everything's lovely. That's, that's a fair whack of XP just from cooking too. And you know what? I'm going to celebrate with one queen steak. A queen taken out in a completely 100% fair fight. No problem there. What so flipping ever. Okay, so we've taken out the castle. We've got radio freedom on the go. Now I can start picking up Minuteman quests without having to worry too much about Preston Garvey anymore. And as for the level up, ooh, this one, uh, this one's a bit on the... Uh, the tricky side, but I think I know what I want it to be, and again, it might be a bit of a surprise, because I know you're thinking, why on earth hasn't John taken, you know, a Ninja 2 and a Critical Banker 2? Those absolutely flipping critical perks, and uh, to be honest, actually, now you mention it, I was about to do a big no, but actually I have a cunning plan, but actually now you mention it, that, that would be a good idea. That would actually be... Uh, Really good. Yeah, you know what? I've just talked myself into it. Never mind. I was about to do something kind of, you know, wacky and out there. But never mind, actually. No, screw it. Um, only question now is, uh, do I want to have the extra off Ninja or the extra off Critical Banker? I feel like Critical Banker is uh, the safer bet. Yeah, you know what? We're going to have that. Boom. Love it. Okay. Critical Banker 2. We'll do the wacky thing at level 23, alright? I have got a cunning wacky plan. And you know what? It's foggy. I don't have the materials to make it uh, sunny again. And I'm also feeling a bit on the uh, the tired side. So, okay. Here's what we're going to do. 
We are not going to use this bedroom, actually. No, never mind, because there's still, there's still bloody Myalax. Okay, there's so many Myalax. We'll take them out later. It's fine. I'm going to make my own bed in a nice area where I know there's no cocking Myalax. You see, from this point, there's, uh, there's a lot of things I could do. At some point, I need to get, yeah, my new armor back to base in Hangman's Alley to give it a bit of a look -see. I need to escort my power armor back to Hangman's Alley as well because it's a bit uh, out of the way. But, 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 we might not be 100% done with the Minutemen just yet. There's one more thing that can trigger here at the castle. And uh, unlike the Milo Queen, who I will completely 100% put my hands up and say, all right, we're just going to cheese her. But that's fine, she's terrifying. And I was planning, if it failed, to, you know, critical nuke her in the face. That's my plan for dealing with all my problems, alright? The Death Claw, right at the beginning of the game, this Milo Queen, basically any boss, we're just going to critical nuke them in the face. That's my plan going forward, but uh, yeah, there might be uh, there might be an enemy we can't cheese uh, quite so easily uh, in the next stage uh, of the Minutemen quest. And that, if we can, I'd like to do. Uh, it doesn't trigger for a few in-game days, uh, and I'm not 100% sure whether... If I just stay here for three days, uh, drinking the local water, eating the local Myalurk steak, does that, does that count? I'm not sure, but we might give it a go. We might, you know, begin next week by having a bit of a holiday here. I feel like, you know, it's been a bit of a tough few weeks for Miss Finale. So uh, if she gets a few days off here in the hope of triggering a Minuteman quest, then that is not the worst thing in the world. And then it's down into the catacombs underneath the castle and, uh, yeah, trouble. Plenty of trouble, but if we can get it, arguably one of the most powerful tools we have unlocked yet. So hopefully you join me next week for that to see if yes, my plan does indeed work. Because I don't know whether I can just wait here. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.